Yo. Welcome to another Synfig tutorial. Today we will be taking a look at the Stripes Converter. Now, the Stripes Converter works with gradients. So let me just go ahead and select my gradient tool here and select our first layer type here, which is the linear gradient. And I'm going to go ahead and create my gradient. Now, with the gradient layer selected, let us go to the gradient in its properties and right click, convert and click on stripes. And we now have linear stripes. So in the sub parameters here that we've been given, we can change the colors of the object as well as we can add the amount of stripes here. Uh, so, you know, you can, you can increase this or decrease it as you need to. And we can also change the width of the bars here. So we can maybe put this to one, which it would be pretty big. So let me put this to maybe 0.3. And of course you can change the colors as you see fit, okay? So that is pretty neat. Um, so let me delete this one and go ahead and see what adding the stripes converter to the radial gradient would look like. So let me go ahead and create um, the radial gradient like so and let's convert it using the stripes and we can see that we are now given some rings here uh, this can actually be used like one of those hypnotic loop things because of course you can animate um, the movement of these by adding keyframes to them so that is pretty cool and again you can go into the properties and increase the amount of stripes or decrease them as you see fit Okay, All right, so let's move on and let's go to the conical gradient. So let's click on this one. And this one is used to create starbursts. Now I already have a tutorial of me creating starbursts using this um, converter here, but we're gonna go over it again here. So let me right click convert stripes and we can see we have our starbursts and we can go ahead and increase the number to whatever we want All right so if you need a quick and easy way to create your starbursts i would recommend doing it this way so you can change the values here and we see that is pretty cool so let me move on to our final layer type which is the spiral gradient let me go ahead and add the stripes converter to this one and see what that looks like and we see we get another spiral looking thing, which is pretty cool. Just for the fun of it, I'm gonna go ahead and animate this one. So let me just uh, position this like so, and maybe loop it around and increase the size. And all right, so let's go ahead and play this and see what that looks like. And that is pretty neat. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the stripes converter. And that's it for this tutorial, and I will see you in the next one. Yo, Kimari. Yo, Kimari.